The default mode for the Ronin S follows your movements as you rotate left or right or tilt up or down. If you want to lock your tilt and pan axes, then hold the trigger on the front of the battery grip. When you move the gimbal forward, your camera remains level. When you rotate left or right, the camera remains in place. Release the trigger and the Ronin S will follow your movements again. When holding the trigger, the Ronin S locks the tilt and pan axes. When you release the trigger, the Ronin S holds to its last position. To reset the Ronin S back to its original position, double tap on the trigger. To enter selfie mode, triple tap on the trigger and the gimbal will turn around. Double tap on the trigger to return to its original position. The gimbal has several controls on the back. Out of the box, the Ronin S is programmed with three user profiles, one, two, and three. To switch in between them, press the mode button. To enter sports mode, hold the mode button while operating the Ronin S. The difference between these user profiles is the sensitivity of the motors. User profile 1 will react to your movements more quickly than, for example, user 3. Using the joystick, you can manually move the Ronin S. To use the infinite roll feature, switch over to user profile 2 where we have programmed the feature via the mobile app. Enter flashlight mode while holding the trigger and tilt the gimbal forward until it is horizontal. Then release the trigger. Using the joystick, you can roll the gimbal left or right. To show you from another angle, I use the joystick to roll the gimbal left or right. You can roll the gimbal infinitely. To return to its original position, double tap on the trigger. 